It's how you are with yourself and with other people. Above all, it's grounded in the reality and the life of people, of ordinary people. And I'm, I'm using that word ordinary. Anarchism, for me, has always been a belief in the rich potential of human beings, of the possibilities that, that lies inherent in people. And, and that capitalism, or state socialism, destroys or attempts to destroy. I'm talking about the ability of people to run their own lives, manage their own affairs. And you can see it occasionally, can't we? We can see it in periods of strikes, when local communities organise strike support groups and they organise strike parents and, and men and women and children take on roles and become confident and, and almost, you know, self-aware self and self-conscious and, and strong as individuals. And they're never given the chance to normally. Anarchism is in, in, the, in those life experiences of people, often in struggle, where they don't need anyone to tell them what to do. They can do it themselves. And right through history, there's been those times. There's a French book, The Orgasms of History, where at certain moments people have been able to take control over their lives and to see something exciting. And if anarchism, or anarchy, you know, because all anarchism is for me, is a, is a philosophy of anarchy. If anarchy doesn't mean a change in everyday life for us, if it doesn't hold the magic or the excitement of possibility, then it's nothing. So anarchism is here, it's around us, it's within you, it's within me. You can organise your own. You don't need anybody to tell you what to do. All you have to remember is that we don't want to be racist, we don't want to be sexist. It's a belief that every human being has a right to be who they are and a right to have the right to grow and be enriched. But it's also a belief in confrontation and contestation. Because it can't come about without the destruction of capitalism without the destruction of a system that will exploit and that will take away your right, your abilities to be that person, that will turn you into a drone. You can't possibly have an opportunity to see real anarchy, that richness in human life, till capitalism is taken away. And there will come a point where we will not be able to love each other forever, where we will not try to imagine that there's some wonderful coalition of rich and poor fighting, fighting poverty. There will come a time when there will be real conflict. And, and that's not something that people say, that's great, that's wonderful. It's just inevitable. People with money and wealth will not give up what there is, what they have. And they will convince themselves and the people around them the poor people are poor because they want to be poor, because they're lazy, because it's their fault, it's not mine. They will convince themselves that there is nothing in common between them and the old lady dying of diabetes three streets away. It's nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with the fact that I've got four fucking houses, or I've got three houses, or I'm earning so much money I can't spend it. It's nothing to do with me. And anarchy says, oh yes it is. You know, and you're, you cannot carry on that type of life. So it's two things. It's a belief in the potential and richness of ordinary people. Can I just say that ordinary people is not an insult. Um, I'm talking about people who don't wear t-shirts and black clothes, all right, and black hoodies, and walk around with masks on their face and call themselves a black bloc, or who see themselves as anarchists. I'm talking about people who've got nothing to do with anarchism, who've never read an anarchist book. But those people are, are the majority of this world. Those people count for more than ever. And there will be huge, uh, there will be huge problems of race and sex. But the reason for me, I'm a class struggle anarchist, I believe that there is inevitable class struggle, is that the majority of people in this world are are not given under capitalism, state socialism, democratic socialism, the chance to become who they could be. 
So anarchy, who you could be.